So but I just yeah, I just think, you know, in any anyone that is trying to do something, it is a grind. And you have to be prepared for the grinds. You know, a lot of people will give up halfway. Um and, you know, move on. I've seen a lot of streamers who were were getting to that point where, you know, they could have broke the ground running and then just became something, but they just stopped. Whether that was personal life, whether they were burnt out, or whether uh, whatever circumstances has caused them. But at the end of the day, if you're not there trying to put in the effort um, to make it, you know, it's not to say it's on you, but it's to say, you know, maybe that, that, that was your capacity at that time in life. But at the same time, like, there's a lot of people who still haven't made it yet, grinding after many years. They, mm. what, what they forget is through those X time period, they've, you know, they've had that small step journey. They've had those followers. They've made new friends. They've made a community. Even if the community is tens and thousands, um, heck, having two or three people there, they've made something. It's just trying to appreciate your own journey, looking back at your own path um, to where you got there, as opposed to comparing yourself. Because I think a lot of people these days, instead of comparing their, themselves to where they were about, you know, 12 months ago, they're comparing themselves to another person who streams around. And I think that's the big mistake that a lot of people make is comparing themselves to others because, you know, not they're not work, walk, walking the same journey. Sure, they might be streaming the same content, but, you know, their circumstances versus yours is different. And people need to remember that. You know? Yeah. Just focus on yourself. Like, be aware of others, but don't be fixated on them. Yeah, that, that's that's the big thing is I try to, I want to see what's going on, but that's me being curious once again. But, like, Fresh has almost hit um, 1 million. I don't know if he's hit it yet, but if I was to no, compare myself, oh, okay, I'm going to reach 2,000 followers at the same time Fresh is, that's silly. And to think that I'm going to gain 20,000 followers at the same time as, at the same rate as Fresh, that's silly. So, yeah. It's a big thing is to stay in your own lane and figure out, you know, what are you doing well and how are you, how are you projecting yourself to your audience? Um, because these are people. These aren't just, like, numbers. I think that's a big thing is um, streamers that, viewers and streamers and stuff like that that look at, you know, talking to people and having engagement with people as opposed to, oh, four people commented. Um, you can see that difference. Um, less so on yeah. YouTubers, but with streamers when they go, oh, I've only got three streamers. It really... Like three viewers right now, it really makes me uh, angry because it's like <laughs> these are three people that are watching you, and you're complaining about them watching you. Then that there's not enough. There's not more, and it's so yeah. annoying because I streamed for the better half of you know eight months talking to two, three people at a time, and even now I you know get like ten ish. So when you're before, when you're like, oh, Jesse and Jordan were only getting forty, I'm like, they're big numbers to me, man. Um, but yeah. That, that's the thing is that I'm not going to be like, I'm, I'm angry that there's only eight people watching or whatever. It's because there's eight people having like listening to what I have to say. And that's more than what I'm like, what I'd think. Like imagine eight people listening to you in a conversation, you know, like kind of a ground, like sort of in a circle and you're talking yeah. to eight people and telling, like having, saying what you want to say and eight people are actually listening to you. That's like, a lot in real life. That's a lot. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. yeah. And yeah, I think everyone, like you said, everyone's on their own journey and everyone's doing their own thing. So you can't compare, compare yourself to people that are in front of you because they're in front of you for a reason because they had a different journey to you. And if you yeah. compare yourself and then get upset, you're kind of chopping your own foot off and you're probably going to stop your streaming career very early on. And I'm sure you've seen it lots. Um, a lot of people stop their careers, whether that be after a week or whatever. And they just think they're going to have explosive growth. They're going to be as big as Ninja in one month. It's not how it works. Yeah, it's just funny because I know players um, in Fortnite, they're streaming. They're probably only getting like, you know, 30 viewers, 40 viewers. But, you know, there's a lot of things um, that I could interrogate to find out why they're not hitting the numbers. And the one thing is patience. Like, you have to be patient when you're a streamer. I think a lot of people have the instant gratification of, you know, I'll get it now, I'll get it straight away, you know, I'll be big straight away. But it doesn't happen like that. Like, you think about what Ninja said about his journey. He was streaming a long time just to even get, like, you know, his first... Like, like he's been grinding out, and no one knows that. They just see, oh, Ninja, big Ninja, he's, like, you know, the biggest guy now, and blah, 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 blah. But 
you have to appreciate each person that has started somewhere like shroud as well summit as well like yeah. even fresh as well like and he's a great example because he, he's one that i know in real life like you know his journey no one knew about his life before he made it big like and the ones that did were in the Fortnite scene like but they didn't know what he had to do behind the scenes to get to where he was that's right yeah get that exposure like the small things he did that kind of amounted to where he was i could guarantee you no one knew that you know he was using Fortnite tracker as, as his one platform to grow his base um, for um, YouTube and Twitch. I'm sure no one knew about his computer that was about to like, you know, give up on him when it was trying to be unprofessional, let alone um, him farming cryptocurrencies to try to make ends meet or CSGO. Um, you know, like th- those are things that people don't see behind the scenes, you know, like fresh up. No one knew that he had to, um, like, you know, he was living off of rice every favorite meal. He never had, you know, like HSP, let alone Uber Eats and things like that. Yeah. So it's just, yeah, interesting. And how did you know, Spork? Uh, we can see the reflection of your glasses. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a good multitasker. No, that's, that's all right. Um, that's, that's like, I, I like how you say that, you know, there's technical issues with people's growth. Um, one thing I'm scared about, I mean, I'm streaming, I'm in front of my like bunk bed. And if I, you know, Four years from the track, I'm in a studio, like interviewing you, and like as a comeback, as like a you know, again after four years down the track, people that are new don't know that I'm streaming in my bedroom, don't know that you know, I'm in a I'm on a bunk bed, you know what I mean? So it's it's really really satisfying to see the people that and be like friends with the people that have been along the journey for. Years. Um, that's why I don't get angry about my like so my vlog channel we've been my girlfriend and i've been doing four years now we have 1200 followers on um 1250 subscribers on youtube it's because it's we're not a makeup we're not like you know we don't have our own niche market so we're a vlog channel that basically has its you know it's a very hard thing to start because it's a very muddy market to grow in but i'm not angry about having only 1200 just because there's 1,200 people that have individually clicked and said subscribe, and there's still people that are watching, and the channel's still growing. Just, you know, we're not going to give up on it because that's kind of defeats the purpose of ever starting it. It's like, and if we do blow up, we have a back catalogue of so much stuff. And I think, I suppose, why Fresh is focusing on content now is that if Fortnite slips up um, and Fortnite's no more, at least he's got a back catalogue of you know, hundreds of videos that people can still watch and enjoy. Um, and like, hey, I watched a video the other day of just of Lachlan playing Minecraft, and it was unrelated to Lachlan's videos. It was with I think Barge and Canadian or something. Yeah, and Lachlan was in it, and I was like, what the hell? Like, this is from like six years ago, and it's yeah. lo-, lo and behold, it's Lachlan there. So yeah, it's interesting to see the, um the growth and change and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think that, that um that's a key element as a brand or influencer. You don't want to be known as the person that plays X, Y, Z game. You want to be known as the influencer, the brand itself. Because I guess in my mind, success isn't about you streaming, getting millions and thousands of viewers. Mm. It's about if you were to change your current strategy into a different game or you're to pursue something else that's not Fortnite, you're not your typical standard um, AAA title games, will your followers still follow you for the sake of you? Or are they just playing you play that game? And, and that's what I say to a lot of people is your, su- your success lies in um, your following. So if you were to say, let's say, Fresh, for example, 5,000 viewers at the moment, if he was to play another game, um, will he still have 5,000 viewers? Or are they purely just watching him for Fortnite? And that would kind of tell you your true, I guess, success or where it lies. Because, you know, if, if, if he was to only get, you know, 10 viewers playing, I don't know, CSGO, that to me says that he hasn't really hit the nail in the head in terms of um, in terms of brand success because in the long scheme grand scheme of things you want to convert them into different social followings or social platforms so if you were to be on youtube if you were to be on facebook instagram are they going to be their following in on that journey if you were to play i don't know apex if you were to play warcraft etc will they follow you and will that still be consistent because if it is you can live a comfortable life like Shroud does. Like I think Shroud's a prime example 
I guess, a, um, a brand that people will follow regardless of what game he plays because he's so good at the game um, regardless of what he plays in terms of FPS. So if you can replicate that for yourself, then, you know, you've made it. Yeah, definitely. I think um, that's a, it's a nail on the head. Um, but do you think that it really depends on the game? So if a game generally pulls less numbers in general, I don't think that – and it all depends on people's um, circumstances. I have uh, hardcore, like, my friends that watch, but their circumstances in life have changed that means that they can't watch um, the streams anymore. But it doesn't mean they're not still there to follow. It's just life has changed. So if you're trying to convert that to between different games, maybe you just don't like the game. Maybe you had a bad experience of the game. It doesn't mean you don't enjoy um, that streamer. But how, many, how much percentage do you think would be, would, like, would be the difference? Because I'd say give or take 10% or if a little bit more. So if you average 100 viewers and you play a new game and it's about 80, I think that, like you said, I think that's forgiven um, because some people just don't watch that like certain games. Um, like World of Warcraft, for example, is a game that it's very hard to know what's going on um, if you don't have never played World of Warcraft before. So comparing Fortnite and then having a streamer go to World of Warcraft a lot of people may just click off because it's too much to take in. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm just, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes the gaming title will help you grow. So, you know, like when a new game comes out, who, who's the top streamers? Like when you think about Fortnite, Ninja, there. when you think about Apex, Dizzy was up there. Um, but, you know, that that's only a short stint that will give you that you know temporary boost. It's about how do you maintain that uh, consistent following, and that then ultimately comes down to your branding, the people's perception of you. Are you a good player? Yes. You assume that anyone that's playing these games are good. Um, it, it's about your personality. It's about what do you give back to the viewers uh, and to keep coming back. Are you entertaining to watch? Because if you're just boring and monotone, I I, I don't know. Shroud's different because it's just insane at the game. But if you're boring, like, you know, you have to change your strategy, change yeah. the gameplay, change whatever to like continue on that growth, or at least keep consistent. I think for me, uh, my biggest platform depends on the day, depends on the circumstance, but I get a little bit testy at Fortnite. Um, and I've, I've suppressed that a lot, not to say that I'm trying to like make, make it on stream, but if you don't get angry at the game, and I think if you keep your cool at the game, you're going to enjoy yourself and you've got to play better, naturally. I mean, you don't, you don't see Fresh raging all the time, all the twins raging. I mean, there, there are points they do, but not in terms of, like, every time I die, they're not going to fall out. Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, your, the way you, you feel is how your community will react. And so, like, for me personally, I'm out, uh, just as a viewer, if I watch someone who's negative, I kind of just don't want to watch it anymore. I don't want to have a bump because, you know, you kind of want to watch something that's entertaining and light mood. Um, you know, whereas if I switch to another streamer who's chilling, you know, having fun, like, you know, I'm more inclined to stay and watch. Like, you know, Dr. Looper, for example, I'll watch him purely because, you know, he's just having fun, you know. Yes, yes, it's his um, career and stuff, but he's just great to watch. The code is, uh, as an example, Shroud. Like, they're just so relaxed. Whereas if I'm watching Del or he's raging, like, you know, I kids wanting to watch him because, you know, that's entertaining for me. It's just, you know, uh, I, I don't think it's entertaining. Um, I'll, I'll move on. That's a good point. Like, you touch base more. I mean, you look at Thriller. He's an amazing person to watch. Even, like, him and, like, Kiki and a lot of streamers. But those guys are very entertaining to watch. Very easy to engage in with them. Um, and Kiki... Does a lot of just chatting stuff. Like Thriller does, you know, mostly Fortnite. Um, yeah. But he doesn't flip out. He goes, "Oh man, like that died. <laughs> like that's that's yeah. his like death death note. You know what I mean? He doesn't like flip yeah. out. So it's very easy to watch like those watch watch people like them. Um, yeah, agreed. Yeah. 